All right, uh, we're back at Steve Graves again with the uh, Cal State Northridge Geography Department. This second uh, video is dedicated to helping you understand uh, direction, cardinal direction, and then uh, how to do some measurements in ArcMap. So the first thing you need to do is to click on the zoom in button and zoom in on the campus here at CSUN. Uh, you may want to zoom in even a little more. And then click off the zips map and then click on the base map. And uh, hopefully you recognize this as campus. You zoom in, and here's the Oviet Library, and this is the Oviet Lawn. You may already know that the top of this map is oriented towards north, but it's uh, difficult to tell for sure without um, having a compass rose on the map. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do is to click on the View options and switch quickly to the Layout view. In the layout view, you will notice that there is a compass rose indicating that the top of the screen is due north and other dire cardinal directions are also mentioned as well as some of the intermediate directions. You will also notice a, notice a scale bar here in the lower portion of the map. answer two or three questions about this map and cardinal directions in Moodle and you may pause. Okay, now if you're back we can uh, get rid of the layout window and click once again on view and go back to the data view where we will spend um, more time. Okay, in this segment of the lab, you will uh, make sure you zoom in on the Oviat lawn because we are going to measure this area using the measuring tool in ArcMap. Uh, place your cursor on the measure tool and click once. Select the measure an area button by clicking on it. Click the choose units in area and it should be set at feet. Place the cursor which now has a sort of different look than it normally does here at the intersection where the um, patio of the Ovia library meets this first step. Click once and drag a line and drag your cursor over to this spot where the patio once again meets this first step. And note the distance of that segment in feet. You may want to answer a question in Moodle at this point. Next, drag your cursor down to a point about halfway across the sidewalk in front of the Oviat Library. Examine the measurement in the Measure Tool window. After you have measured two segments, the width of the, the Oviat Lawn and the length of the Oviat Lawn, uh, it's at that point that you can estimate the perimeter of the Oviat lawn. There are questions on Moodle that you can answer now. Okay, after you've answered a couple of questions in Moodle, extend your cursor to the third corner so that uh, you have a two parallel lines, um, one of which runs uh, straight down the Matador Walk and it's at this point if your corners are square you can click one last time and get an area measurement along with a measurement for the last uh, or the third segment. Um, you may answer a couple of questions in Moodle at this point.
when you're satisfied that you have a nice um, perfectly square rectangle um, or perfectly square square you may double click with the measurement tool and the measurement window will be um, set or locked the measurements that are in there. It's at this point that you can choose to change the units in which the software reports the area of the Oviat lawn. By default for this project it was reporting in eight square feet but you can change that to acres or miles or even square yards. There are several questions in Moodle that require you to do that. You may also change it uh, to metric units like uh, meters, square meters, or hectares, or square kilometers. Uh, check out the questions on Moodle and answer a few questions. You may pause. So once you've answered those questions in Moodle, and you've got a sense of how to use this tool and how big the Oviat lawn is, what I want you to do is you can close this window and uh, turn back on the Northridge area zips layer and you may want to turn the base map layer off just to speed the processing of or the rendering of the map. Next what we're going to do is to do something called ground truthing which is essentially um, we want to measure something that we know already the size to gauge the accuracy of our online tool. I'm going to turn on the Northridge area streets layer which you can't see now and scroll to zoom out and what I want to look for is uh, the intersection of Devonshire and Zelza. So I'm using the grabber or the pan tool and here's Devonshire and Zelza and I'm going to turn off the zips layer and turn back on the base map and what we're going to do is look for a football field and there it is. I'm going to zoom in on it a couple of times and, and what we're going to do is to bring up essentially the Google calculator. It's an interesting little tool. If I type equals 10 plus 10 into a Google window it will bring up a calculator at which I can calculate some things. You have been given the dimensions of the football field and um, what you are asked to do is to calculate the perimeter of a football field, uh, the known perimeter, using a calculator, either an on one, online one like uh, Google's here, or just whatever you have. Uh, do that and answer the question in Moodle. So if after you've answered that question in Moodle, what we want to do is to zoom in on this football field as much as you can and use the measure tool in ArcMap. Let's make sure that it's back, it's set on uh, the area or the distance measure unit that you want to use. And what we're going to do is place the cursor. You can clear this first. We want to measure an area. Place the cursor in the corner of the end zone and drag over. It should have been about a hundred yards or 300 feet and complete the square. I'm not going to complete it for you um, but when you are complete you should go over into this corner. I'm going to double click and then I will have some answers about the area and the perimeter of a football field. These are incorrect because I am trying not to give you the answer. If you complete the, the perimeter you should get a correct answer. You will enter your values into a Moodle. Okay, the very last segment of this exercise 
uh, requires you to zoom out a bit. So we're going to zoom out and we're going to zoom out some more and even more. And then we're going to pan west until we can see a neighborhood boundary that is formed by the following streets. Tampa, Devonshire, Reseda, and Plummer. So this nice square. And your task will be to uh, make a measurement of this neighborhood, which is uh, a common one uh, because it was part of the original land survey, and it's a nice square, and you will uh, read a bit about it, measure it, and then answer a few questions on it, and I believe that is the the final segment of this lab, and uh, I hope you uh, got all the questions right. Um,